Well, now that we know how to see if a point is a solution or not, let's talk about shading. And remember that the area we shade contains all of the solutions. So instead of having to check every point, we only have to check one point, and that will tell us whether we should shade that region or not. So let's take our 3x plus y is less than 6 equation again. And let's use the point 0, 0 to see if we should, sh should, if we should shade that side. And so what we're going to get is we're going to plug in the point 0, 0. So we're going to get 3 times 0 plus 0 is less than 6. And there's a reason I pick 0, 0. When you're trying to use this in practice, you should always use the point 0, 0. Well, 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0. This is why we like it. We just get this one equation is 0 less than 6. Since that's true, that means that we would shade around the 0, 0 point. So whatever region we're in, that's the region that gets shaded. If it had come out false, then we wouldn't shade. So for instance, if I pick the point, let's just say 1, 4, then we get 3 times 1 plus 4 is less than 6. 3 plus 4 is less than 6. That's 7 is less than 6. This is false, so we wouldn't shade that part that region of our graph.